Uh, good day, Grade Twelves. My name is Kaden Mazokere. I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks, and welcome to One Point Four Under Dynamics of Perfect Imperfect Market. Sorry. Now it says here, study the graph below and answer the questions that follow. Well, the first thing we see is the heading Monopoly Market. So we already know there is one seller of whatever product this is, and a good example is Escom. Uh, they are the sole providers of electricity here in South Africa. Now, <clears throat> the next thing we see is uh, this is the demand curve. We know that the demand curve is equal to the average revenue curve, even though it's not safe. So look out for a question on that. Uh, this is marginal revenue. We see that it lies below the demand curve. Well, in under per perfect, uh, you saw that they are equal. And the question is, why are they equal under perfect? And how come under imperfect they are not equal? Like this particular scenario here, Monopoly. Why is it that D and A, M, R are not equal? Well, the answer is because each additional unit is sold at a lower price. And for perfect, they are equal because each additional unit is sold at the same price. Then the next thing I see here is there is no marginal cost curve. We cannot be asked to calculate any profit or loss, whatever the case is. Now, let's jump straight into this. And if there was no heading, maybe, what would this market structure be? Well, it still would be monopoly. <clears throat> and we would know that because uh, the de this particular demand curve, I wouldn't say it's highly elastic. Because the one for monopolistic is highly elastic. It would be something like this. I think you can see where I'm drawing here, yeah, something like this, more elastic than you see here. Okay, so question number one, which curve represents the average revenue curve? That's the demand curve D, this one here, not MR. D and AR are equal, but they are not equal to MR. Uh, how many firms dominate this market structure? There is only one. Mono means one. Why does the marginal revenue curve lie below the demand curve? I answered this already because each additional unit is sold at a lower price. Then, or each additional unit is not sold at the same price or is sold at a different price. Then the next question, why will the monopolist not be able to charge excessively high prices for his or her product? Well, the reason, uh, well, if you're a monopolist, you are a price take maker sorry price maker so why would you then just not charge whatever it is that you want because even though you are providing something unique and even though you are the only provider of that something uh just the mere fact that you are the only supplier of the product does not mean you can charge whatever you want because you still have a demand curve to limit you Okay, so the only way you can charge a higher price is to restrict output. Okay, so if I was to draw a line, let's say price here. Uh, output price, look, go, corresponds with this demand curve ne? and the quantity here. Now, if I'm producing this particular quantity, I am going to charge price that corresponds with the demand curve, like here. I cannot charge above. I cannot go beyond the demand curve. The only way I can charge somewhere here, which is this price here, is by restricting output to somewhere down there. Well, let me put some numbers, then you'll understand. Um, you will see in the next uh, question. The next question says, redraw the graph above into the answer book. Indicate economic profit uh, on on your graph by inserting the average cost curve and the marginal cost curve at this on the same set of axes. So you need to insert MC and once you insert MC, find the, 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 the point where it intersects MR. So let's say here, then that will be your quantity and then continue straight up until you touch the demand curve. That will be your price. Okay. Then uh, from there, Put, draw an average cost curve that is below this uh, price that you will have determined. Then uh, from there, shade an area, and that's your economic profit. Okay, let's see it on the memo. 
so here we have oh sorry this is not the one that was 1.4 right right so which curve represents the average revenue curve that would be d or demand curve uh, how many firms dominate this we say it is one then uh why does the marginal revenue curve lie below due to the negative sloping demand curve every additional unit is sold at a lower price okay that's basically what i said then why would the monopolist not charge excessively high prices well the reason is although the monopolist is the only supplier in the market uh in the market it still has to uh deal with market forces which ones are they demand and supply right and the supply curve is the mc curve remember so uh demand is the one that really restricts the monopolist from charging um what do you call it excessively high prices well you can go through the rest but yeah that's it then there was that one which says uh on the same set of x's in set mc like i said there it is and then ac like i said draw it below things that we'll look out for make sure that your ac is below your d and ar and in this case it is next make sure your aim your mc cuts it's the ac at its lowest point like there then from there okay well it's supposed to be somewhere here then you draw a line then you shade well we look out for that so basically this is is this is it boys and girls uh uh there's nothing i can add well there there are no numbers so we will not talk about uh but this c is standing for cost this p that's price and then this q that's quantity i personally like putting numbers so if i write 15 10 then maybe 100 it's easier for me to even you know do explain but in this case there was no need for you to explain you can even see how marks were allocated well they give you a mark for the ac the mc and when they look give marks for the ac they look also at the the rule that says the mc cuts the ac at its lowest point and then uh it has to be below a r or d in this case because of the instruction given well that is it uh, uh ladies and gentlemen boys and girls well it has brought us to the end of this particular video Thank you, like, subscribe, God bless.